In this video, we embark on a journey to revolutionize your Fallout 4 experience. From game-changing enhancements to breathtaking visual upgrades, we're about to unveil the future of your Fallout 4 adventures. So grab your Nuka Cola and brace yourselves for an unforgettable ride through the world of cutting-edge mods that will redefine your wasteland odyssey. Fallout 4 faces the same built-in limitation of 100 operations per task in Papyrus scripting. However, there's a solution the Baca Max Papyrus Ops mod. This mod serves as a script enhancement designed to optimize Papyrus performance. It brings over the max operations per task patch from Papyrus Tweaks NG, which allows you to adjust this limit to a value of your choice. By default, it's set to 500, but you have the flexibility to set it to virtually any value you desire in the Baca Max Papyrus Ops.tom file. While higher values might slightly impact overall frame rate, especially on older machines, the performance boost in Papyrus scripts is substantial. And let me tell you, this mod is truly fantastic. Users who combined Baca Scrap Heap and Max Papyrus Ops reported a significant reduction in the frequently occurring CTDs, especially during challenging survival gameplay. The difference before and after applying this mod is undeniable and remarkable. For players grappling with script overload, this is an absolute must-have plugin. I highly recommend it. Your gameplay experience is about to level up. Ever admired the feature in Fallout 76 that allows you to pick up and store power armor frames? Well, get ready to experience it in Fallout 4. With the Baca Power Armor Storage mod, you can now pick up unowned or player-owned power armor frames and carry them as armor items right in your inventory. And the convenience doesn't stop there. Once picked up, these frames will automatically return to your inventory after 120 seconds, complete with reminders at 60 and 10 seconds. Even if you walk too far away from the frames, they'll still be automatically returned to your inventory. Want more control? Just hold down the Shift key and select either Claim or Leave from the alternative. Activate options to enable or disable auto return for any frame. But that's not all. The auto return feature switches on or off as needed. It triggers when any actor enters a power armor frame or when a power armor frame undergoes maintenance at a power armor station. And here's a neat twist. You can place the frames you've picked up in a special version of the workshop menu. Just equip or drop them while they're in your inventory, and you're good to go. With Baca Power Armor Storage, you're in command of your power armor frames like never before. Say goodbye to clunky storage methods and embrace this game-changing mod. Next up, let me introduce you to the mod that's set to redefine combat dynamics. Chemfluence AI Combat Dynamics. Chemfluence stands as a dynamic and game-changing Fallout 4 modification that breathes new life into combat interactions. This ingenious overhaul takes AI behavior to the next level by factoring in two pivotal elements, chem usage and weapon selection. With Chemfluence, AI characters aren't just mere adversaries. They become formidable opponents with distinct combat strategies. As they consume chems, their responses evolve, adapting dynamically to the situation at hand. But it doesn't stop there. AI's tactics now pivot according to the weaponry they wield. Those wielding ranged arms maintain a careful distance, while shotgun aficionados close in for maximum impact. Melee combatants in their diversity exhibit a range of behaviors, from flanking maneuvers to aggressive assaults or masterful defensive stances. Next, let me introduce you to the Armor Penetration Bug Fix, F4SE mod. This mod is designed to rectify a persistent bug within Fallout 4's armor penetration system. This issue arises when switching or unequipping weapons, causing the armor penetration values to be erroneously applied or retained. For instance, if you unequip a weapon with armor penetration and then equip a different one, the armor penetration value might persist unchanged or even incorrectly switch to the new weapon's value. This inconsistency significantly impacts gameplay accuracy and coherence. Operating exclusively with F4SE, this mod requires no scripts and leaves no ESP footprint, thus not occupying a plug-in slot. By ensuring the proper functioning of the armor penetration system, this mod bestows a heightened level of precision and consistency upon your gameplay experience. Now, let me introduce you to the Finger Guns mod. This mod adds a unique and entertaining weapon to Fallout 4, allowing you to shoot finger guns. The weapon can be crafted at a chemistry bench under the category Finger Gun. Finger Guns offer a variety of firing options, including single shots, revolver style, rapid fire, and more. 
The finger gun animations are smoothly applied, creating a natural and fluid movement. I wasn't lying. I got a Next up, I'd like to introduce you to the No Forced Auto Rot and Backward Pose mod. This Fallout 4 mod deactivates the automatic rotation and backward positioning of the conversation camera, fixing a bug where the player suddenly looks in a different direction during dialogues. This glitch caused the player or NPCs engaged in conversations to randomly turn 180 degrees, disrupting the immersion of the game. With this mod installed, the conversation camera remains focused on the faces of both the player and NPCs, ensuring that dialogue partners maintain eye contact. Moving on, the mod I'd like to introduce to you is the Baka Power Armor HUD mod. The Baka Power Armor HUD mod brings a transparent and informative heads-up display to the Power Armor in Fallout 4. It displays the remaining battery charge of the Power Armor. This mod draws inspiration from a similar feature found in Fallout 76 and adapts it for use in Fallout 4. By using this mod, the Power Armor's HUD becomes sleeker and more refined, making it easier to keep track of the Power Armor's battery status. This mod serves as an enhancement to the Power Armor HUD in Fallout 4, enhancing the immersion of the game. If you're a fan of Fallout 76, I recommend giving this mod a try for a more immersive experience. Next up, let me introduce you to the Weapon Weight Improvements mod. The Weapon Weight Improvements mod is designed for Fallout 4, specifically recalculating the weights of weapon attachments. This mod requires the use of the Robco Patcher utility, which analyzes and modifies the game's data. With this mod, the weights of weapon attachments are adjusted to be more rational and realistic. For instance, attachments like barrels or receivers might see an increase in weight, while items like scopes or grips could experience a decrease in weight. This mod serves as an enhancement to Fallout 4's weapon system, offering a useful modification that can bring changes to your gameplay. This time, I'll introduce you to an outfit combination. The featured outfit combination consists of the t-shirt from Obi's Casual Outfit, paired with the Adidas-style tight pants from Obi's Sportwear, and complemented by the Louis Vuitton sneakers. Initially, I intended to introduce Obi's Casual Outfit on its own. However, since skirts aren't really my preference, I eventually opted to blend the Adidas-style tight pants from Obi's Sportwear and the Louis Vuitton sneakers into the ensemble. Regarding the top of Obi's casual outfit, the chest area is quite daring, which personally makes me somewhat uneasy. I can't help but question if exposing the chest was absolutely necessary. For my hair, I chose the chair and a beanie. The reason being that the gray beanie included with the hair seemed to pair well with the top of Obi's casual outfit. As for the footwear, I initially planned to wear the Adidas Superstar shoes. However, the Louis Vuitton sneakers have a built-in heel effect, making the character's legs appear longer. Additionally, the deep gray color of the tight pants seems to match better with the black-toned Louis Vuitton sneakers, which have a darker hue than the bright-colored Adidas Superstar. After watching the video in its entirety, if you find it appealing, I encourage you to try dressing up in a similar fashion. Just like I did with the latest mod, Obi's Casual Outfit, I hope you'll use it as a way to express your own unique style. Lastly, let me introduce you to the M2A2 Bradley APC Replacer. This mod alters the default APC armored vehicle in the Fallout game to the M2A2 Bradley, a US infantry fighting vehicle. It replaces the unrealistic model that doesn't quite fit Fallout 4's world with a more realistic and refined design. Not only does this mod change the appearance of the APC, but it also enhances the textures to a 4K resolution, elevating the overall graphic quality of the game. If you're looking to enhance the APC and improve the quality of your gaming experience, I highly recommend trying out the M2A2 Bradley APC Replacer. And there you have it, Wasteland Wanderers! A thrilling journey through 10 innovative must-have new Fallout 4 mods to upgrade your Commonwealth. From immersive gameplay tweaks to stunning visual overhauls, these mods are your gateway to an entirely new Fallout 4 adventure. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting content that will keep your Wasteland escapades fresh and captivating. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Which of these mods are you most excited to try? Let's dive into the discussion and build a community of dedicated Fallout 4 enthusiasts. Until next time, keep exploring, keep surviving, and keep modding. Stay legendary, your Wasteland Odyssey.